In this video we're going to take a look at the status node which is part of the common uh, nodes that uh, you get a standard when you install Node Red, and it's quite handy to, to use to visualize or set alarms on the functionality of other nodes. So I'm not going to go into everything here that I've got in this flow in detail, but what we're going to monitor here in this particular task is it's executing some Python code. And because this is pretty critical to the whole of my flow, I need to know whether this is working because nothing else will work after this. I've labeled this up. You can see here read ADX134. And then I'm going to come on to how we use the, the status. So importing the, the status node is, is relatively easy. It's what you do with the outputs that is a little bit trickier. Um, and I'll come on to that now. So when you drag and drop your status node in, the only thing you've got to do is select which nodes you want to monitor. And it can get a little bit tricky if you're, if you're monitoring multiple nodes that have different outputs. In this case, I just want to focus on one node, which is my Python shell in. So I've selected that. You can select multiple nodes, like I said, but we're only going to select one. And then it's important to understand the output from this node. I'm going to visualize the status of my Python shell node using this status node. So I'll put a debug on here. If we click on this, I'll just stop it because it's reading quite quick. I'll open this up and you can see under here, I've got no payload. And this is where it's really important that you select here under your debug complete message because if you don't, you just put message, message payload, you won't see anything. And we want to see this bit here, the status. So this is telling us the status, not of this node, but of the status of the node it's monitoring. In this case, it's PowerShell. It's easier to think about than say, by the way. So I can see here that I've got um, a shape dot, a fill green underneath this status, and then I've got text processing data. So the easiest thing to do is, first of all, to display this, this, this text here, processing data. So all I've done is I've dragged in this text function. The important thing here, it will say message.payload. Well, we don't want that. We want to bring in this text here. So we're going to do message.status.text. Um, the brackets I haven't changed. They're there what's in the, the uh, there as default. So we'll leave them like that. You need a label for it. Click on done and deploy and what you'll see then here Python code status processing data if I restart the flow I have to be quite quick here but let's see if we can do this there we go standby processing data I'm not seeing the whole sequence because it's taking longer for my screen to boot up than what it is to, to start processing the Python data. But if I put a pause in there, I'd see the, the whole status of this. So I can then alarm on that as well if I want to using the switch node. The next thing I want to do is have a little green LED, if you like, on the screen to, to say that every, everything is, is healthy. That becomes a little bit trickier because if I use this LED uh, function here, then if I have a look at the settings, it's always looking at the message payload. So unlike the message text, I can't put in message status dot fill. I need to move that fill status into the message payload. And I do that with a change node. So if I come here, I've got my message status dot fill is now being moved to my message payload and then I'm just linking that straight through. So if I clear my screen here, put my debug on, I'll stop it. I can now see that my message payload is green. And I had to do a little bit of testing to see what the other colors, if I go back all the way up here, that I get from here. So this is that, this fill here, this is what we're looking at, this green square here, this dot, and um, 
that color will change. So you just you just have to monitor the status dot fill why it's rebooting to see the different colors. I don't think if I click on this and go to help, it gives me that type of information. So let's have a look. No, so you see it's not telling me there what the colors are for, for my status fill. So you have to do a bit of manual testing yourself. I've already done that. If we have a look now back down here and have a look, you can see here that the colors coming out are green and yellow. And then this is the output of my LED on my dashboard. I've given it a label. So there's the text label. I've told it where I want to, to, to put it. I can have a little preview here. So this is what it looks like. So when there's no status, it's gray. And you could use this to monitor really any of your nodes. So again, if I double click it, these are all my nodes in my program. I can start to, to monitor any of these. So I've used it in the past. I've put an Azure node in here to connect to Azure IoT Hub. And you'll see it will show connecting to IoT, successful connection. So you know now that you've got that connection to IoT Hub and you'll see that on your screen. But you can also put an event log or whatever you want on here. So it's a really powerful node for, for showing the status of your flow. So I hope that was useful. But as per usual, don't forget to click on the notification button because there's plenty of these videos coming out. But for now, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.